In video 201, I want to talk to you about something called the Cisco Performance Estimator. Some of you may have seen this, but a lot of people have not. You have to have rights to see this from a partner's perspective. So if you don't have it, you can ask your partner to give you rights and so on. Possibly you can do it, but don't write me. I can't help you. People write me all the time. Hey, can you get me in there? I cannot. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you're missing out on. <laughs> all right. So next generation firewall PE, ngfwpe.cisco.com. Now you have to, again, log in and it'll tell you you don't have rights or this or whatever. Anyways, what this is going to allow me to do is look at th inspected throughput and what devices. So if I just said I want two gig throughput of inspected data, that's great. 40 to 80 percent utilization. Basically, this is a very middle of the road. This is where you want to be with a device using getting the best bang for your buck. Now we could say something like show us all of them from zero to 200 percent. All right. So we're going to see a lot of boxes here. So again, I'm going to say let me say two gig all devices. This will be fun. Now we can change the profile packet size or we could leave it at the same as 733 average packet size, which is basically very uh, common for customer environments. I don't want to do show snort three only unless that's all you're going to to run, it's unlikely that's where we'll be today. But the base license, I, can, I can't really take that off. It'll come with it. And this is application visibility and control. And this license gives me AVC, application visibility and control. It allows me to create a layer seven access list using applications. That's about it. But also we can do layer two and layer three and NAT. So it gives me some basic routing functionality of sorts, and that's it. Now, if I want to actually do anything about next generation firewall, I need a threat license, IPS, IDS, or what they call intrusion detection now. Security intelligence this gives me, as well as file control. File control is things like block all PDFs, something like that. If I want to check files for malware, then I'd have to add malware license, right? At a minimum, you want to do the threat. We can get security with a threat license. So I'm going to say I want URL filtering. This is going to give me reputation and category, malware checks for files, and then IDS, IPS, and security intelligence. That's very good. Now I could do some more advanced filters here. Models 1000 series 2100 and click on these and some end of life stuff here. But dual power supply or DC, high availability clustering, types of interfaces. I'll say I want 1 gig and 10 gig operating systems just threat defense, and then I say I'm only going to run 6.3, whatever, right? And then I can say, okay, let's apply. Now from here, notice with everything that I put on there, a little much for 11.50, right? 108%, that's a good bang for your buck though, right? If you're looking like, I don't want to waste any CPU cycles. I paid a lot of money. Hey, I get it. <laughs> 11.50s are awesome boxes. I have a couple of them. And I always tell people how much I love them. And they're like, why do you love them? They're just basically the same as a 2130 or so on. And the fact of the matter is they're one third the size. And they give me really good throughput. They have an integrated fan that makes doesn't make any noise. And I have two of them on my desk and you can't even hear them. And I love them and I get 10 gig threat inspection. That's why I like my 1150s. Plus, I got them from Cisco so because they wanted me to test them. So I still have them sitting here. 10, 100, 1000 built in for management, of course, 32 gigs of RAM. And you know what's nice is I can click on these on this next on this performance estimator and get information about the device. Now, I'm going to say, well, I'm going to have two 1150s run a snort too. That's fine. 60 gigs of logging volume, 851 events per second for connection events for us to look at. This is going to give me information about that. 2130s and and I'm going to as I go up it's going to tell me notice my CPU goes down and that's why they want to sell Snort 3. We don't have any we don't have as many rules in Snort 3 yet as we do for Snort 2. So most most of my customers still only run Snort 2. Notice as we go up the percentage of these go down and see if we get I I said show all of them. So notice these like 90 these million dollar boxes, right? They should be at six, less than 6% if you ask me for a million bucks. But anyways, I can come over here and say, I only, you know, let's do one gig of threat inspection. Everything else is the same. I'm not going to look at all of them, but 40 to 80%, somewhere in between. So notice here now, you know, one gig throughput, 1150 is really good. Notice there's nothing less than an 1150. What's interesting here, I'm going to click on, what's this? Click on this guy and click on this guy. What's the difference between these two? This guy's less, but I want to know more about the devices. Let's click compare and look at this nice screen you get. 
This is really nice. I can compare devices. It talks about DC power supplies, dual power supplies, cooling fans, clustering, and you know, the t different types of interfaces you can get. So, you know, is this 2130 a little bit better? Yeah, it's a lot more money, but you know, you can definitely see the differences. So we can just come and keep doing that. This is very, very cool stuff. Now I can come under here to more tools. And I say, well, I want logging volume estimator. And I want to be, let's say, uh, yeah, 2100, 2130. And I have two of those. I'm going to say custom. I can customize low, but I'm just going to leave it as, as common. And then I can enter daily combined event rate of something we're using as an extra device. But this is telling me right here on my 2130s, 53 gigs a day of logging storage is going to be needed, 751 events per second, and so on. So this is going to give me information that I need to, what I need to plan for storage for logging and so on. So there's some useful links under here, sizing guide and overview best practices. Great testing, great thing to check out. If I had TLS decryption, notice I can do percent of traffic, the amount of detail I can get.